So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how you can put a virus checker program on your Fire Stick to check out all your apps that you have installed on your Fire Stick. So stay tuned. We'll go ahead and get it and download it, open it up and scan those apps. Stay tuned. It's time for streaming. So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Today I'm on the Fire Stick 4K Max second generation. If you're looking for a new Fire Stick or a new device, just go ahead and click on one of the links down below. No extra cost to you when you click on it. Small commission to the channel and it does help out to bring some more videos. Now with the virus scan, you could go ahead and tell the apps that you have installed on your Fire Stick do have a virus. They would show up in red. And then ones that are questionable kind of show up like in an orange. And what you need to do is just go ahead and do a Google search on the name of the app and see what it says about the app itself. If people are saying, yeah, it does contain a virus or it's not, it's just a false positive. Then it's up to you again to keep the app or go ahead and delete the app. Now on the Fire Stick 4K Max second generation, you just use the outer ring and you go ahead and you go down. Then go back up and you can see which apps have a yellow or red. Anything in green, you're good to go. As you can see, I have one on the top left. It's in an orange, so it's totally up to me if I want to keep it or go ahead and delete it. Now, the one thing on the Fire Stick 4K Max second generation, the only thing you can do, like I showed you a couple of seconds ago, is just scroll up and down. And it's very hard to go ahead if you want. You could go click into the notification and it'll tell you more about the app. Now, if you're on a regular Fire Stick 4K, you just go ahead and you download Mouse Toggle. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to download that today. Also, that way, if you do have the regular 4K, you could go ahead and do that. But otherwise, if you're on the 4K Max second generation, you need to go ahead and do a Google search and then you know if you need to delete it or keep it. So let's go ahead now. Let's get these two apps onto our Fire Stick. So that way we could go ahead and make sure that we are streaming safely with good apps. So here we are we're on the home screen of our Fire Stick 4K Max second generation. What we need to do is go over to the left. Let's go to the magnifying glass and down to search. First program we need is Downloader. A lot of people already have this app on their Fire Stick, but if you're new to the channel and you don't know what Downloader is, go ahead and let you go ahead and get it now. Let's go over to the letter D, click on the letter D, go straight down to where it says Downloader, click on that Enter button on your remote. Right here on the Need Apps and Games is Downloader. Click the Enter button again. If you like what you're seeing so far, click on that Like and Subscribe button, ring that bell, that way you know when I put up some more videos. Right here it says Download, you own it. Click the Enter button, give it a few seconds to go ahead and download, then it will automatically and install itself. Once you come to where it says open, click your enter button, click allow, and then click OK. Now there's one more thing we need to do before we could go ahead and start using Downloader. Let's click on that home button on our remote. Let's go over to the right to where the gear is or the cog wheel, whichever way you like to call it. Let's go down to where it says My Fire TV. Let's go to developer options and let's go to where it says install for non-known apps. Go down to Downloader, click on it, and turn it on. Click that Home button on your remote again. Now let's go over to where the three squares and the plus sign is. Go ahead and click on it. Let's go down right to the bottom, because anytime you download a new app, it always falls down to the bottom. Go over to the right. Now you can move it to the front if you want by clicking on the three line button on your remote, and then say Move to Front. So let's go ahead, let's just do that. Let's move it to the front. Click that home button and you can see that the downloader app went right to the first spot on the first line. Let's go ahead and open this up. We're going to go get the two apps that you need. That way you could go ahead and scan for viruses on your Fire Stick. Let's type in the time for streaming web page code, which is 218-330. And go ahead and click on go. It's going to go ahead and redirect you to the web page. 
Give that a few seconds to be redirected, and we'll be right back. Now, if you want, now that you're on the Time for Streaming webpage, you can go up to the top, go up to the three lines right next to Go, click on it, and then you can say Add to Favorites. Go ahead and click down onto where it says Save. Now, over on the left hand side, right where it says Favorites, you click on it, it'll come up where it says Time for Streaming. Scroll over to the right and then click on it, and it's going to connect you automatically to the Time for Streaming webpage. That way, you don't have to wait the four or five seconds for it to go ahead and direct you over to the page. Now, on the three lines over here on the Time for Streaming webpage, let's go ahead and click on Downloads. Click on the three lines, come to Downloads, go ahead and click on it, give it a few seconds for the page to change, and let's go down. Now let's go ahead and get these two apps. Now right here, underneath app downloads, the first one you want to get if you're on the Fire Stick 4K is mouse toggle. That's going to go ahead and let you create a virtual mouse on the page. So that way you can open up the app that's saying you have a virus on, open it up, you can read about it, and you don't have to do a Google search. But unfortunately, like I said, with the Fire Stick 4K Max second generation, there isn't an app out there yet for a mouse toggle. Go ahead and click on install. After we're done with install, let's go ahead and click on done. Go ahead, click on delete and delete again. That only removes the file from the downloader file, not from your Fire Stick. Let's go ahead and scroll on down. Scroll down to where it says antivirus. Let's go ahead now, click on virus total. Give that a few seconds to go ahead and connect itself and download to our Fire Stick. Go over to the right, click on install. Give it a few seconds to install. Remember, we don't want to open it up right away. Let's go ahead, click on done. Click on delete and delete again. Now you can go ahead and click on that home button on your remote. Go back over to where the three squares are on the plus sign, which is also known as your apps. Go ahead down. Let's go over to where the virus total is. Click on that three line button on your remote and say move to front. Now, if you're on the Fire Stick 4K, let's go over to where the mouse toggle is. Let's go ahead and let's open it up. And on the very bottom where it says status, you want to wait for it to say starting. Once you get that, then you're free to go ahead and use the mouse toggle within the virus scan. To open up the virtual mouse, all you have to do is real fast, click on the play and pause button, double click it real fast, and a little circle will pop up on the screen. Then you just use the directional pad to go up and down to where you want to go ahead and open up an app. So now back onto the home screen after we went ahead and you got your mouse toggle all started. Let's go back over to the virus protection. And let's click on it and let's open it up. You have read the terms, accept, go ahead. Now just go ahead and click on that enter button and let it scan for your apps. And let's see if I get any other results from what we saw in the beginning. We'll be right back. So the scanning took less than a minute and you can see I still have the same results telling me the one on the top left is in orange. And it could be a false positive, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take it off my fire stick because I don't want anything with a false positive or a virus to be laying around on my fire stick. Let's go ahead and click on that home button on your remote. I hope you find this video very helpful and entertaining. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you use virus total to scan your apps on your fire stick or if you use something else, let me know. That way I can let other viewers know about it also. It would be greatly appreciated. Remember to click on that like and subscribe button, ring that bell. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.